Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting video because I finally revamped our living room space. We totally switched up all the furniture in the living room and I may or may not have found the best restoration hardware cloud couch dupe. So definitely stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll show you guys everything. But before we get into the rest of the video, I do want to show you guys our process, the different pieces we picked, and how we made everything protected, of course, from the dogs and any stains. So definitely stay tuned to the end of the video to see the full reveal it's definitely not a hundred percent done but it's pretty much done we're just missing a few like pieces of art and maybe just like a few little accessories but yeah without further ado let's get into the rest of today's video. exciting news i know i look crazy but all my furniture is here you guys excited first run the rug This is what the living room looks like right now. We just have the couch and I want to scotch guard everything tonight. So I'm going to have to make that happen. And then the chickens are going to have to sleep in the room with us. We could do that. Right, Simsy? Right, Nolly over there with your toy? Nollykins? <laughs> what the? Oh, that's the chair. Oh, that's an interesting box. This is a really big ottoman. <laughs> oh, it's like a box in a box. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, we have to put the legs on, don't we? Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, love it. Okay, guys, it's finally the. <laughs> I can't even speak. <laughs> okay, guys, it's finally that time. We're finally going to unbox our new couch that we've been waiting for. Honestly, not that long, but it feels like a long time when you don't have a couch to sit on and the dogs have to be in the bedroom with us. But basically last night we scotch guarded our new rug which is down back there behind us and now we're about to unbox the couch. Hopefully everything looks as great as we expected and then we're going to scotch guard all this because I'm not having any stains, permanent stains, nothing what's knocked on the freaking wood. <laughs> but none of that's happening. This couch is staying perfectly white. I got everything I need, any stains, it'll be gone. So. Let's just do a little montage of this. This is all we've done so far. Literally just this one little spot. But I'm obsessed. I also don't know if this is all proper, but we'll figure it out. Okay, Jay, I'm gonna lay on it. Do it. <gasps> this is so comfortable. Yeah. Wow, yeah, it literally feels like a cloud. Whoa. Well, an invitation. Wow. Yeah, not on the real cloud couch, guys. Who needs that? Unless, unless you know, they want to come and sponsor me and give me a free couch. <laughs> sitting here doing the couch and I noticed there was a stain on it it's so faint and small I'm not even sure if you guys will notice it let me move everything and try and show you but of course I noticed it because I'm OCD and I notice everything um like actually I have OCD <laughs> but look can you guys see that right there see so we're gonna send it to the company and hopefully they you know, send us a new cushion or send someone. I don't know, but so far I absolutely love the couch. 
Um, and it came with pillows, which I was not expecting because I bought pillows. So now we have extra pillows. So these are the two pieces we've done so far. This is the rug I was telling you guys about, but it's folded. Um, I figured I would scotch guard this, then lay everything down properly. So this obviously is gonna go on the right. This is the middle sectional. And then over, is there everything okay? Okay, and then over here we just have, I think this is another part of the sectional. Yeah, it looks like this is the other corner and this is the ottoman, which I'm pretty nervous about the ottoman because I think it's bigger than the couch itself, like than the cushion itself. So we'll see. So we're building our second to last piece of the actual couch portion. We still have to the ottoman, but I wanted to show you guys the dogs. They just know that, you know what this means, Nala? No dogs on the couch. New rules unlocked. <laughs> I'm putting this in the video so you guys go hold me accountable if you see in the next video or any other videos that they are on the couch because look at that face. Look at that face Nala's giving in Simba. How could you not let them on the couch? Well, guys, this couch is too expensive for that. So this is the couch completely put together. We wanted to see what it would look like without the ottoman just because we wanted to see if it was going to be too much. But I think it looks really good. I feel like we kind of, I don't know, leave a comment down below what you guys think. Because I think we should keep the ottoman only because it moves so it's not like it's just stuck here or stuck there. And we still have tons of room like, you know, you guys know what my living room looks like. This also isn't all the way pushed back because I want to clean the wall a bit more before we do that. So we do have that much space back there. But I don't know, let us know your thoughts. I think we should keep it. We can always, like, you know, if we're having too many people over, put it in the room. But this is just the overview of the room right now. And I'll show you guys from the other angle. So this is the other angle of our living room. This is the box that we're going to throw out. We already put one of those away. As you can see, that's the space I was talking about. Pretty decent sized space. But I don't know. We still have all this room when we first work in. Do not look at my feet. And our dining room table there. And then I was thinking once it's finally pushed back, we could have the ottoman either on this side or that side. We do have the desk over there and we're gonna put the dog's bed probably over there, but we're really just trying to figure stuff out. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I feel like we should keep it. What do you I, think? Honestly, I love it. It's so much deeper than I thought. And honestly, the white couch, if we we're gonna keep them off the couch, but I think it brightens up the room a lot more. Yeah, it does. Like, I love it. I was afraid that it was gonna be too much white because, I, as you can see, like most of our stuff in here is white. But I think it looks great, and especially with the rug, you guys will see it when it's all put together at the end. But yeah, let us know your thoughts on which side do you think we should keep the ottoman this side, that side. Again, it's very movable, but we just want kind of like a standard space, I guess, for it. I don't know why we're both sitting down here, but anyways, we decided we're gonna keep the ottoman. I think it looks good, and like we said, we have way too many people over, which I don't know when we're having all these people over. We can put it in the room, so let's just open it already. Yeah, <laughs> together well not actually together because it's still not pushed back and we didn't even connect it but with the ottoman i think it looks great still have to fix that pillow right there and the cushions also aren't velcro down yet i just wanted to really see how it'll look together and like i said we still have to scotch guard everything jay's over there struggling to take the box out <laughs> but yeah this is how it's looking from this angle of our living room this is from all the way in the corner of our living room. So I feel like we still have like a decent amount of space over here. And then like I said, eventually we want to get rid of this dresser. Maybe put the dog's bed over here just so that, you know, maybe we could put a plant over here or something. And then this is what it looks like from this side of the living room. So like I said, we still have tons of space. Like this is more space than we normally had because normally the dog's bed was here. So I just feel like we have 
a lot of room, although we were concerned about closing it off. Like we said, it's going to be a little bit back. But I don't know, I'm obsessed. I've never been happier. And now we're gonna do a full test sitting on the couch. So let's see how that goes. Okay guys, I'm finally going to fully test it. Again, it's not all together, but it's together enough. So let's see how it all feels. Should I like this one? Yeah, just plop in. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Wow, it's so comfortable. It feels more comfortable than our couch. Use that. My head's not down because I have this freaking thing here. Use the ottoman. Oh yeah, let me try the ottoman. But I heard you do have to flush this couch, so. Gonna have to do a YouTube video on figuring that out. Let's see the ottoman. Oh. It feels so nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll just be here, guys. Okay guys, this is our new living room. We have our new couch that we're so excited about. As you guys can see, this is the Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch dupe. I honestly think it's the best dupe we found. We did a lot of research and I'm so happy that we have this couch. It makes the place look so much brighter with our new rug. And we also added a desk over here. So I'll do a whole montage for you guys at the end. But for now, I just wanna tell you guys where we got everything. So our couch we got from home threads and I think the company is what is the company called? I don't know what the company's called, don't worry, everything will be linked down below. But I know it's called the Comics couch and we got the three seater and then an ottoman. This ottoman is not attached, it's like removable so we can always move it here or here or if we're having tons of people over we can put it in the bedroom. It's so comfortable and soft, like I think it's the best purchase we've made, right? Definitely. And then over here we have our new rug, which I'm so excited about. I feel like these tones are really what we were going for this whole time, and it really just brightens up the whole space. So this rug is from Wayfair. I'll also have it linked down below. I feel like it's the perfect size for us, and we were a bit hesitant about putting it all the way against the fireplace, but after you know having it like this for a few days, I think this is exactly how I want it to look. And then over here, we're just planning to add, of course, maybe some artwork or some photos of us. We just really haven't gotten around to it, but I'm really loving how the space is looking. Then let's go over here so I can show you guys the new desk. So as you guys know, I have been working from home for over a year, and my back has definitely you know, felt the consequences of that because I haven't had a desk this entire time. So I finally got this desk from CB2. I'm obsessed with it. I love that it's just hung up with the two screws on top. Super easy to assemble. And it's actually very sturdy, like way like more heavy duty than I thought it was gonna be, which makes me feel secure when I'm using it. And then up here, I just added these plans, you know, some accessories. This is still not complete this area, but I just really like how it's looking so far. Some of these plants are real, this one's obviously not. And then down here, I just have where I put my laptop stand. This is supposed to be plugged in down there. And then this chair, I actually got from Wayfair. I'm obsessed with this chair. It's so comfortable. It's kind of like that Sherpa, I guess, feeling. It's so cute. And I just feel like it's perfect for when I'm sitting here, you know, doing my work and such. So I'm beyond excited about everything in this living room. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, like I said, all the furniture and everything will be linked down below. As you can see, like just look how much brighter it looks. Oh, I'm just so happy and obsessed. And then over here, I didn't really explain, but we're still working on this little area back here. But you'll see that in my next upcoming vlog. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below if you're loving the new living room like we are. 
and definitely don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank <laughs> you.